Yo, what's good, Soul Squad, and welcome back to another episode of Soul Talks, where sneakers are the conversation. In case you're new here, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, show some love to the notification bell so you guys are alerted each and every time we drop a new video, which is every week, and do me a favor and destroy that like button. Let's get those likes up, guys. Yo, it's your man's Nice Kick Nob checking in. One of the hosts from your Soul Squad, man. Just wanted to pop on and do a video. This is our first edition of Cop, Stock, or Drop. That's right, where we review some of the hottest sneakers that you guys need to cop, the sneakers that you need to stock that are gonna make you good money in the resale market, and the sneakers that you absolutely need to drop and not even consider adding in your rotation. But before we do that, man, for all my sneaker heads, man, this was a huge, crazy weekend that we just came out of. If you know anything about this weekend, you know the sneaker world went crazy for the Jordan 1 Royal Toes. Guys, like by far, this was the hardest pickup of 2020. I mean, I couldn't get in on sneakers app. I couldn't get in on Hibbit Sports. Like none of the apps that I used to like cop shoes were working, but I was able to land a personal pair to put in your boy's collection. All right, hey man. Overall, nicely done shoe by Jordan Brand. I feel this is a shoe that um, everybody really wants. Like, and we see right now on StockX, these joints are going for over $300 with a retail price of $170. You guys know Jordan Brand went up by $10 this year for the Jordan 1s. We typically stayed around the $160 price point, but now we're at $170A. But for the quality um, of what we've been seeing in these Jordan 1s, man, it's definitely worth the price. But if you're able to get your hands on a pair of these, man, let me know in the comment section below. Um, detail what your uh, experience was trying to get your hands on these Jordan 1 Royal Toes, man. Definitely, in my opinion, um, one of the best releases of 2020 to date. All right, guys, so with that being said, let's get into today's video. It's the very first edition of Cop, Stock, or Drop. And on today's segment, guys, we are going to be talking about the Air Jordan 13 Flint. That's it. Hey, man, listen, this is personally one of my favorite Jordan retros out of every Jordan that's ever released, man. Um, we first saw this, this shoe step onto the scene in 98. Uh, we saw two releases in 2005. We saw another retro in 2010, and they were rumored in 2017 um i don't know if you guys are hip to the the uh the foot locker launch locator but it's a map that foot locker puts out to where you can see where the shoes are going to be dropped uh, let me see if i can pull that map up real quick oh there it is okay so on that map foot locker shows you where all these shoes are going to be dropping and it was very limited as far as the location so I, weren't, I wasn't really sure, and a lot of the um, other sneaker influencers that I listened to, they weren't sure about the Flint 13s dropping either, but it is confirmed May 30th, guys, with a retail price of $190, we are going to see the 2020 retro release of the Air Jordan 13 Flints. Guys, with us not seeing this shoe um, in 10 years, I believe this is a shoe that is definitely going to be worth copping. I mean, first off, the Air Jordan 13 is one of Jordan's most popular silhouettes. Um, just to give you guys a little bit of sneaker history, the Jordan 13 was designed after a black cat or a black panther. Tinker Hatfield, he used to watch Michael Jordan, how he moved and how he played his opponents and practices and games. And he told Mike, he was like, Mike, you move like a, a, a black cat. You move like a black panther. Ironically enough, a lot of Jordan's close friends that played ball with him growing up called him the black cat. And so the Air Jordan 13 model, even if you look at the outsole, it resembles the paw of a panther. It's a very sleek design. Even the green um, holographic uh, Jordan symbol that we have on the eyelet, uh, I mean, like it almost looks like a panther's eye, like just a overall nicely done shoe. But on the 2020 release, guys, we are going to be getting the 3M reflective on the upper. And if you know anything about Jordans, 3M people always go crazy for. Okay, guys, so for the Air Jordan 13 Flint, the color code we have is navy, flint gray, white, and university blue. Guys, I'm telling you, this is going to be a highly sought after shoe. Right now on StockX, this shoe in my size, personal size, size 11, 
is going for almost $600 after shipping and fees. So this is a shoe that you definitely want to get your hands on. One, to cop for your personal collection. Two, to also stock because this is a shoe that's going to have a significantly nice resale value. Now, typically after these shoes drop, the uh, resale value goes down just a little bit. But if I was to make a prediction, I would say that this shoe is going to sit somewhere between $350 and $400 on the resale side, which is a nice price point being a retail price of $190. So you could typically see about a $200 profit from purchasing the Air Jordan 13 Flint. I'm personally going after a couple pairs myself just because, like I said, this is one of my favorite silhouettes, and I also believe this is a shoe that's going to be able to put a little bit of extra money in my pocket. So comment below, guys, if you're going after the Air Jordan 13 flints and let me know what you guys think the resale value is going to be on this shoe we haven't seen this retro in 10 years and this is one of the highly sought after jordan retros out of all the jordan brand um, produces and, and, and that nike puts out so guys make sure you don't sleep may 30th 2020 i'm gonna come on the channel i'm gonna do an early on foot review for you guys so that you guys can get a up hand close and personal look on the air jordan 13 flint but guys make sure you don't sleep you are going to want to get your hands on the air jordan 13 flint so soul squad thank you guys for tuning in this has been cop stock or drop it's your man's nice kick no so squad you guys continue to rock with us subscribe to the channel like the video show some love to the notification bell and we'll catch you guys next time so squad, we out.